So my name is Adrian Wilson, and I am doing uh, section 3.3, and I'm going to use the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is. Can you speak up slightly? Yeah. So, I'm not sure this might be so good. So the quotient rule is f prime times g minus f of g prime times g prime all over g squared. And so the first thing I did was find the derivative. So of, here f is your numerator. Yeah. So the derivative of 4 minus 3x would be negative 3 times 3x squared plus x minus, and then 4 minus 3x times the derivative of this, which would be 6x plus Can you pull with that notebook slightly? Yeah. All over 3x squared plus x squared. Then I distributed this and then I folded that. So it would be negative 9x squared minus 3x. Then I factor this like that. So it would be minus 24x plus 4, then negative 18x squared minus 3x all over 3x squared plus x squared. And then I just, I combine like terms, so negative 9 minus uh, 18 would be negative 20, 7x squared. If I can interrupt you, uh, negative 9 minus negative oh, yeah. 18. So negative 9x squared. And negative, so negative 3 minus 24 would be negative 27, plus 3 would be positive 21, I mean negative 21, x, then minus uh, 4. Be sure we're not making this little arithmetic error. Negative 3 minus um, 24, 24 would be negative 27, plus, plus three. 3 would be oh, 24. And that is all over 3x squared plus x squared. And that's what I got for my answer. So, I mean, I know the homework isn't due yet, but is that what everyone who's done this for? Yeah, that looks right to me too. 